He he. All right, let's see and hopefully be able to get lucky enough to get more gear crafter vaults and uh, that last piece of crystal five I need. Hey, Simmy. Simmy, Bimmy, Jimmy, Limmy. I think that's what your friends call you, right? <clears throat> oh, 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 I see a five star over there. I hope it's a tower. Hopefully notifications actually go out. Hee hee. Today was the best day. What happened, man? Oh crap, I forgot to make a video highlighting Slow Sebastian. Ah, man. <laughs> oh well. Dear God, really? Four Diamond Dragon Eggs from 180 Emp Boxes, which is already really lucky. And Gonda. How many Trova Wonders did it take, though? Like 80 mil? <laughs> That's still insane, man. Dang. Three fifty trouble wonders. Oh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's some insane luck. Revel in it because you'll probably never get that luck again. Unless you just keep getting it. <clears throat> I I never get that lucky with anything anymore. Holy crap. It is a laggy in here. I guess no surprise. But also, where are my notif squad at? What the heck is going on, YouTube? Oh, there's Chronicle. Nice. Oh, okay. He's actually got a pretty cool style <clears throat> with that costume. I like that. Ah, I still got to craft that stupid costume. I just don't want to spend my Starfire Fragments, bro. Hey, Blur. No, of course. More the merrier, man. I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. You guys are always welcome to join, especially with this stuff. Stream lag? Ah, good. Yeah, I wonder if there's like an internal issue with YouTube going on. Oh. <laughs> Side note. Oh, my God. Um, you guys know how I played that pixel, pixel 3D, whatever the other day, I forget what it's called. Uh, I can't post that VOD yet because as expected, there was copyrighted music. <laughs> so that's fun. Means that if I ever end up playing that game again, I'm definitely going to have to play it muted. Oh my lord. It's so laggy. <clears throat> hey, demon. Yeah, wife's doing good. She, uh... She's out for an appointment right now, so I thought I'd squeeze in a stream. Because otherwise she gets today off. And then we're gonna do shopping and other... chores. <laughs> Hello, game? Good lord. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, you guys might have remembered me like whining and complaining like oh, something about his ears or something forgettable. So this is this going to be a little TMI, right? A little, little too much information where basically I have like I've always had like these issues with uh, wax buildup in my ears that happens every few years and then I just go deaf in one ear and it like I gotta wait like a week or two before it goes away uh, and then I ended up having a problem where this had never happened before where my other ear started getting clogged and it was so frustrating and so distracting because it's basically like living your life like this right and so I didn't want to work. I didn't want to stream. I didn't want to edit. I didn't want to do anything. Cause it, you know, even, even when Mariko would be talking to me, I'd be like, huh? You know, like I sound like an old man. Anyways, long story short, um, finally splurged on a, uh, I think it's called like an irrigation device or something. It basically like shoots water into your ear. Uh, and then my uh, my brother ordered it for me because he has Amazon Prime and we got it like the day after. And then it took like an hour 
But my god, it cleaned out my ears completely and I can actually hear better than before. Like it's nuts. I can hear everything. I can hear grass growing. So again, too much information. Nobody asks, nobody cares, but so help me. I'm just I'm just on cloud nine being able to not only hear, but hear well again. Like it's I had no idea I was this deaf. <laughs> So anyways, <clears throat> hey Shielder. Uh, oh, oh, for content warning. Yeah, that was just me and Bobby trying it randomly. We didn't, we didn't really know what was going on with that game. But I'm, I'm down to play it more at some point. I don't know if I'll get to play it today. It's okay. It's pretty funny. Also chicks on Twitch. Yeah, swearing in chat's fine. I, I don't care about that. I, I just, <clears throat> I have to try not to swear in my videos just because of YouTube monetization issues, which they changed for the better for once, because now I, I'm not going to swear in a troll video, uh, you know, but at the very least when I'm playing like more adult games and they're swearing a lot, pretty much you can say everything except for F-bombs uh, and YouTube doesn't care anymore. Which is great because otherwise they they were it was really bad like they changed it more recently and it was like gross where they basically like try to stop people from swearing across the board that's why like i was swearing and then we moved back to being family friendly kind of i'd say it's more like pg now but anyways <clears throat> uh Hope you don't mind me leeching. No, 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 it's fine. I'm just here for the boxes, bro. I don't care about anything else. Hey, multi. Twitch notification, but not a YouTube notification. Nice. Sounds about right. Hey, Chronicle. Uh, the game still has some major issues with internal voice chat. We'll see how much it takes them to fix it. Oh, with the content warning? Yeah. Which issues? Unless you mean like mechanically stuff in game otherwise i mean let's be real that content warning game no one would play it if it wasn't free for that first 24 hours dude like the game's not that good it's just kind of very meme very funny you know yep we're multi-streaming oh dear god game just insta crashed i love trove my favorite but no, I, we, it's pretty packed right now in terms of like games that I need to play because I still, I haven't had a chance to even play Rise of the Ronin more. And I wanted to actually start streaming it on the channel. I, I still got a lot of Dragon's Dogma videos I wanted to end up recording or uh, editing, sorry. I gotta catch up on a lot of stuff. And then, you know, even though that Pixel Gun 3D game I played the other day. I actually have been playing it a bit off camera and it's it's pretty fun. I'll probably end up streaming it more. You still get destroyed by pay to win players. <laughs> um, you pulled another Gonda Simi? Uh-oh. Go big? Just keep unboxing Gondas, dude. I think that the algorithm is working for you. Also, yeah, I'm surprised we didn't have Bunfest this week. But we got second stat reroll, so it's even better, honestly. Uh, after some in-game days, the voice chat just goes mute. Oh, really? Weird. It's just a copy of Lethal Company. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, so one thing that I didn't notice, which makes sense why the characters are so goofy, apparently the totally accurate battle simulator guys are involved with that game. Which makes sense why the characters like bounce around on stuff. I still never played that game. It's been on my bucket list forever. But yeah. <clears throat> um, My life karma bar is full right now. Yeah, take advantage of it, dude. I don't know why I'm picking up all this random gear, but whatever. Um. I'm here for the new boxes as well. Yeah, sure, Josh, it's fine. How many boxes do you get? Uh, well, right now you can see at the bottom middle, we've got 53. So if I recall, it takes about an hour of doing this and we should get 500. Uh, my goal, 
I, I haven't I haven't been able to grind this as much as I've been wanting to, just because real life stuff has been coming up. Uh, not to mention the gag videos that I've been putting out the past couple days. Uh, but I really want to try and get my last piece of C5 before the second stat reroll event is done. But the problem is I need like one specific piece. Like I need the hat. So I got to get really, really lucky. Also, yeah, there's the new Shadowhunter costume and Chronicles rocking a different helmet with it, which I like. I want that costume, but I, again, I just can't justify the... Uh, I can't justify the Starfire Fragments, man. And then a buddy of mine was saying like, Oh, hey, yeah, one of your uh, Discord mods... I, I think Keen actually made that costume. And then... Uh, like he, he, you know, he's one of our Discord mods. And then uh, another buddy of mine was saying like, did Keen give you a code yet? And I was like, no. <laughs> so I'm kind of hesitant to craft it because I, I don't know if he's planning on giving me a code. I guess I should just ask him. But that would save me the Starfire Fragments. But that said, it's probably not gonna happen anyway. I don't know, I'm weird like that where I don't like asking for things. I don't like asking for charity things. Um, on that note, I made a version of the Cape Mod for everyone to make their own custom one. Oh, you finally made that? Heck yeah, Chronicle. That's cool. Yeah, you were talking about that a long time ago. I'll have to look that up. Um, do you need all gems to have 100% on every stat to get 45 KPR? Not necessarily, but if you don't have uh, good gems, you're going to have to compensate by having um, either lots of dragons or really good upgraded crystal gear. It's I, I know it's pretty close to being 100%, but it also depends if you're talking about crystal gems as well. But yeah, I'll have to look that up because I'd, I'd make some capes myself, honestly. Uh... <clears throat> Um, oh, hey, D. Keen is doing a giveaway for 10 codes, but he has 10 more codes he can give to anyone. Oh, like he's got some personal codes? Let's see. I'll, I'll enter the giveaway, I guess. Whatever. Uh, actually, I don't see it. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> That's cool. Again, if he wants to throw me a code, sure. Otherwise, whatever. I'll just craft it. And then the thing is, I, I know if I craft it, then he'll be like, bro, I was going to give you one anyway. And it's like, uh-huh. But, oh well. Let's just get this done. Um. Yep, yep. I'm quitting YouTube. Yep. No, I already made a video uh, apology afterwards. Not about that, about my beard. <clears throat> Is 45 KPR possible with C3? Yes, it has to be. Or, oh, with C3. Uh, I think so, but again, you're going to have to have, like, considerable gem uh, PR and junk like that. Um... Let's just do this stupid book, whatever. Do you end up maxing out your C5 face and bow? No, God, no. Dude, that's gonna take like so long to max those out. Are you kidding? It's so expensive. It's actually ridiculous. The, the item that's blocking me from doing it is the tempered block element, which you have to just get out of uh, the gear crafting, which technically speaking, if I just buy like a crap ton of molds, I could do it. But to me, it's not super important to max out the crystal gear at the moment because I want to get, um, like I, I want to get the last piece before the second stat reroll event is gone so that I can hopefully uh, get the proper stats on them. You know? Because otherwise, yeah, unboxing them naturally is... No. Uh, I'm going to have to craft. I swear I was getting them while crafting the first tier of equipment. Yes. 
That's, wait, you don't know? That's exactly what you do. Yes. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's exactly what you do to get them. You show how much, how much ore comes from dragons. Oh, PR. <laughs> Stupid YouTube. Um, how would I show how much PR comes from dragons? Unless you just mean like individual dragons, in which case, uh, let's see. Does it say? It only says if I show the crafting recipe, doesn't it? I don't know. It's not much. I'd have to double check. You can hover over the symbol on the top left. Oh, really? It shows from dragons? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh... Dragons, 1860. Oh, I didn't even know that it could do that. Huh. From equipment, wow. Mastery rank gave me a significant amount. Dragons give me a significant amount. Gems give you the most. Yeah, of course, okay. That's cool, I didn't even know that was a thing, guys. Thank you. Or if I did, it was years since I did it, so I completely forgot about it. Oh, dragons give 30 each. Yeah, I knew it was something small. Is this another boss? Nope. Oh, it shows it on the stats? Where? Oh, this power rank thing works as well. Not very well, though. Good lord. This game's UI is so busted sometimes. Yoink. Um, Dragon section does not count primordials. Yeah, okay. That's kind of stupid. Because, yeah, the primordial dragons are really good. So, the I think the dragons themselves don't give much PR. But the point is that they end up giving you a 10% boost to whatever elemental gem they represent. And that's a significant amount of PR. Which is probably why like it shows it in the gems PR section or whatever or something like that. All Primo Dragons give 3172 in total if max gems. Nice. There you go. Yeah, the primordial dragons are the main ones that you want if you're gonna go for any dragons. Not that you have a choice, but. Is this U10 or U11? U10, because we can go further and it's more efficient. There we go. Oh my god. It's being so laggy today. I guess it's not that bad compared to other days, honestly. Uh, you know what? Let me change the title of the stream just for kicks. Oh my god, YouTube, come on. There we go. Change this Twitch stream title, because who cares? I like how Twitch says unstable right now. Lord knows why. My end is fine. There we go. Hey, GNAT. Messed up because you need three kisses of legs for the fourth prime audio. Oh, I know. It's so stupid. Like, what does it come out in parts? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so dumb. <laughs> like, the crystalline cores are better now, but I still find it so stupid that the devs just put an arbitrary number to it. Like, oh my god. I hate it. So many, like, just weird harebrained decisions. Alright, that's our second crash. These five-star dungeons suck, man. Like, I, I don't know what the devs broke with this update. But what else is new? <sighs> 
It's these five-star dungeons specifically. I've had the most crashes ever in any update in these five stars. I, you know what? I bet you it's something that they did with the stupid recent hotfix that nerfed the drops in here. Like they, they went in and they changed something with these five-star dungeons and knowing the Trove devs and just how Trove's like such a mess in terms of its internal code, it probably like pushed one line over and broke something. Also, I love how when you log in, it just plays the generic Trove song. I'm not in the, I'm not in the normal Trove biome, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what I assume too. Prism is conflicting scripts of some kind. Like, what I assume Trove's code is like is just a huge wall of text, and then as they add things, it like just moves something over. Six of my clubmates got Gonda today. Nice. That's a GG moment. Might be able to farm the Cosmic Dragon now that Crystal Coys are way easier. Yeah, I mean, if you got the uh, Diamond Dragonite to make those stupid eggies. I mean, at this point, too, a lot of us have just a crap ton of Empowered Gem Boxes, so. I just don't know where they pull these numbers from, dude. Like, they just, it's so strange. They just go, hey, you know what? This number makes sense. To who? But <clears throat> Not me. Yesterday I opened 1.1k Trove of Wonder and got zero Gonda. Nice. Sounds about right. Woo! The lag between like the event, like the dungeon event stuff is nuts. I gotta stand beside the chest more so than just trying to complete the dungeon. Otherwise, we're not gonna get nearly as many as we want. Oh my god, dude. Like, what? Jeez. Like, the dungeon event itself is triggering so slowly, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's Ur again. Nice. Been a while since I saw him. The devs close their eyes. No, they, yeah, like like they go, um, they just put it in a random number generator. <laughs> or they use AI. What do you think is a fair price? <laughs> My boxes. Dude, I'm gonna... Okay, hold up. I got a funny idea. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. You guys keep killing things, please. Where's, uh... Chat GPT. Okay, I'm asking it in the video game trove, what would be a fair price to craft the primordial dragons? <laughs> As of the last, oh my God, it just keeps going. <laughs> Condense it, please. It just says as of the last update in January, 2022, cause you gotta pay uh, to, get <laughs> to get more recent uh, internet search, but it says, a fair price for crafting Parmelio Dragon and Trove can depend on several factors, including market demand, availability of resources, and fluctuating in-game economies. <laughs> okay. Crafting primordial dragons typically requires a significant investment in the in-game resources such as flux, dragon coins, and other materials. Check the current player market prices now. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> Stupid goddamn bot. It's untradeable resources, but yeah, sure. Check the player market. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Like, bots are gonna, they're, they're gonna take over the world, right guys? Yeah. 
I like how people think that like the AI is like so complex or whatever. And it's like, bro, it literally just takes things from the internet, which means it doesn't actually have accurate information. When have you ever Googled something and got an accurate, like straight answer? Now filter that through AI. <laughs> like, I bet if you asked AI, like, what's this wart on my arm? And then it would be like, you're gonna die in two minutes. Just like a Google search. <clears throat> Come on, dude, hurry up. Takes so long for the event to spawn. Thank you. Oh my lord, dude. The enemies are dying instantly too, which is the funny thing. Oh my god. There. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chronicle. AI is just automatically generated if dash else statements trained with internet data that's it yes i know i just find it funny how like you got people actually like thinking it's oh it's so good now now i will say the ai image generation stuff i think i think ai assistance is actually really good because it kind of streamlines the creative process i'm not saying you know, something as far-fetched as, oh, AI-generated art is as beautiful as real art. It's like, no, but if they end up just generating something and then actually adding a personal human touch to it, then uh, there you go. Or at least use it to end up generating concept art. Like, that, that really helps. Except that it's very limited. Where, hello? Where's the objective? Oh, there it is. I haven't even been over to this one. Some people still think software developers are magicians. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by event? Wait, what event? What? Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, no, no, no. I mean, quite literally the, uh, like in terms of the game's code, like the script of generating the next event in this cursed skull so like that's the event of the enemy spawning or trigger or whatever I, I just meant like how slow it's going because of server issues like this where we're sitting here just waiting for the next event to trigger and then bang there's the stupid box i'm coming guys it's gonna take me five years Oh my lord. Yikes. I should stand on those blocks like you guys are. Actually, I might do that for a wave or two, just so I can grab a drinky. And I'll just stand here. Yeah, give me two seconds, guys. I just want to get a drink. <clears throat> Here's three. Smash like for the chair. I still gotta like give this thing googly eyes. <sighs> hey Raiden, haven't played in your server seem about the same. No, they're better. They're unstable right now because of uh, everything going on with bugs with this update.
that you quit a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, I did. This is uh, this is a VOD that's just, uh, it says it's live, but it's not. The only reason I reacted to uh, your comment is it's AI generated. <clears throat> yeah, sure, man. Why not? There we go. Brum, brum. Okay, no item. Cool. I still don't know why they ended up lowering the loot drops out of these, but whatever. They were already not good. <clears throat> How many did you pre-record of what, Cashin? Oh, like the VODs? Yeah. Um, there's just going to be like live stream VODs for the rest of uh, the channel's life. Like even my response to you right now. Again, it's not organic. It's AI. Oh my god. Wee. I still miss, miss when fall damage was a thing. What's Dark Lord saying? <laughs> Funny how people thought it was real when it was April 1st. People were so gullible. No, no, no. It's... Uh, I don't know what you mean. What's April 1st? What is that? Is that like some special like Trove Day or something? Oh my god, you stupid video game! How? Get up! Thank you. I want to uninstall. Hee hee, we did it. Oh my god, complete the objective. Thank you. It's like so frustrating when it like is so unresponsive, dude. <clears throat> it was already April 3rd for me. No, you're not that far into the future, Raiden. You're lying. It's okay. The date is just a suggestion anyways. But yeah, I, I think it's funny. The main thing that I think is funny is um, still getting some people that come around that clearly didn't actually watch the video. They just saw the title. And that's why they're like, bro. <laughs> thinking they're funny when it's like, bro, you don't watch my videos. I do not value your opinion. <laughs> Like, seriously. <laughs> we did it. Dude, it's still, like, I was, I was, like, slightly triggered yesterday with that Pixel 3D game. Because, um, for those of you that don't know, I basically Pixel 3D gun something. I don't know. It's some garbage pay-to-win mobile game um, that came to PC, right? And, I, you know... I have fun playing pretty much anything. So I was I was having a blast with it, but I kept commenting about how like everyone I was fighting was pay to win because it's literally advertised like a competitive shooter, but you can pay real money to upgrade your guns and make them deal more damage, get better guns, give yourself damage like uh damage resistance. Uh, make it so that you can speed run and double jump and all, all of this super heavy pay to win stuff Which is a shame because the core gameplay is actually pretty fun uh, But anyways, so I kept running into these rounds where I would catch the guy off guard and I'm pumping him with bullets uh, And he would turn around and one shot me because he was pay to win and I kept saying like oh man ran into an error pay to win player <laughs> and, and then there was the problem is I don't know if you guys have ran into this, but because the game is heavily advertised as competitive, it means that you get a lot of toxicity around it because, you know, competitive players are like the scum of the earth, especially in a pay to win game because they want to pretend that it's not pay to win and that it's skill involved. <laughs> so. I had like a couple people like coming around in the chat and they were like talking smack to me and saying, oh man, get good and stuff. And it's like, bro, you give me a mode where it removes the cash shot pay to win stuff. 
And then and then you can play like private matches where you can turn off all of the pay to win stuff, but it's bugged and it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Cause it was like, come on man, you think you're good using your dad's credit card? Well, I mean, to be fair, let's be real. That game has been out since 2013. So most people that are God tier in that game are just freaks that transfer their account. Joe's been playing it a lot and I've been playing it with him. And um, he actually had a really good suggestion where he was saying like, they shouldn't have allowed mobile players to transfer their account to the PC version and just had everyone on even footing. That would have actually been pretty cool. Now, that said, I'll still probably end up covering the game on the channel a little bit. Uh, just because there's a lot of like mini games and side modes that are just genuinely so fun. Because again, like the core gameplay is actually really good. It's just that the uh, deathmatch sucks because it's just, oh, I can't hurt this player because their wallet is too big. Anyways, excuse my ramblings. <laughs> I just... Played it the other day, and you know, it's a voxel cube game, so I thought, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, Dark Lord saying that the game was actually on PC first, so you're probably mixing it up. There's another game that is the exact same called like, uh, it's such a similar title, it's actually ridiculous. Because you know mobile games, they all just copy and paste each other. And there's uh, literally another game that came out, like I think in 2020, they had the PC version. So they had it first before this other game. But anyway, I think it's funny because like literally the other game, I, I don't know what it's called. It's called Pixel Shoot, Pixel 3D something. It's literally the same thing. Um, even the screenshots show pretty much the same maps. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. But it never made me want like, uh, you know, a voxel shooting game more. Like, I, I actually really like the, um, the graphics in it. Like, it's really colorful, you know, performance is good. The gunplay is actually pretty solid. It's kind of like Quake but it's just too bad that it's got all that other crap, like just weighing it down. If it was cosmetics, I'd be fine with that. Or if you could at least grind more of the currency faster free to play, because the thing that sucks about that game is, uh, like I was having a conversation with Joe, so you can grind the currency free to play technically, right? Oh, it's not pay to win, brr. Um, but the funny thing is that <laughs> you get so little of the currency, it's ridiculously slow. But then on top of it, it's like you can uh, you could buy like a new gun or upgrade a gun. And me and Joe kind of had the same thought where we're just like, why would I bother buying this with the very limited free currency when I'll get a level and a better gun will just show up for the same price? Like, I don't know. It's, I guess because the game's from 2013, I just have not seen a game that heavily monetized in a very long time. Like, even Genshin's not that bad. Uh, What else we got? Eh, I'll do the bomb tome. Why not? Anyways, excuse the long rant. I, I know it's kind of irrelevant because the VOD is members only right now because it's still processing, but... It'll end up going up on the channel at some point. Ever tried League of Legends? I'm not into it. Uh, I did try it long, long time ago. Not my thing. Zoldi! Thanks for the membership, man. Appreciate you. Main way to get the currency is the campaign. I remember I used to farm out tokens in a kind of wave survival mode. Oh, okay. The campaign does it? It's too bad the campaign is just so boring. <laughs> but good tip. I'll, I'll grind that out. Oh, you can just farm it unlimited in the campaign? Okay. Heck yeah, dude. I'm down. Because I kind of feel like if I could end up getting like some of the stronger guns to be even remotely competitive with the pay to win players, I think it would actually be a lot more fun. But the two modes that I really enjoy with it, like genuinely having so much fun is the mini games 
because there's literally like squid games in there um and then and then uh the the free exploration map or whatever it's it's basically this gigantic like city um where there still is pay to win players but because it's so open and so chaotic usually i can sneak up on them while they're shooting someone else or I just run. <laughs> but those modes have actually been a blast. Campaign's pretty boring. Used to farm unlimited stuff in some sort of wave mode. Not sure what it's called now. Oh, it might be the PvE co-op mode or whatever. That's that's probably it. It's in the mini games now. Uh, I was playing that as well. And oh my god, it's so boring. I just wish, bro, if I could play like private matches with bots and still grind currency, bots were fun. You you play like the first few rounds against bots because you're in training. And then and then as soon as you end up like getting to players, it's just like, oh, I can't compete. Uh, do you have to max out the gear crafting to get C4 or C5 from the gear crafter boxes? Um, Last time I played was years ago on my iPad I used to be obsessed. <laughs> uh, yes, you will have to get the profession maxed out. But don't worry, the profession takes like, let's say, let's say seven unders are out and under to max out. It's really easy because it's not time gated. I, I think it only ended up taking me like four four hours to get maxed out but not sure oh sorry i i was reading the comment about the gear crafting and then i mixed it up with your comment playing on ipad <laughs> those are two separate comments it's funny um but yeah, yeah, okay, so he was saying that he was level 170 with the gear crafting and not getting crystal. Yeah, 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 it's it's directly tied to that as well as, uh, uh, it's a combination of the gear crafting and your PR. Hey, Spooky. Nice shirt, thank you. Um, jerk? No, I'm <laughs> This one's just casual. I, I still love, I'm wearing my, uh, I love this one. We got it in Japan. It's no face and he's eating ramen. It's so good. I love Japan clothes. Like when we went in Cuba, it was pretty easy for me to not spend any money because I don't like their style of clothing. But when we were talking about like doing our next trip to Japan, probably at the end of the year or early next year, uh, I was just thinking like, oh good. I'm going to have to start saving money again. <laughs> Because the clothes, man, is too good. I have already got too much clothes. Uh, I need to do one of those, what is those YouTube videos that they do sometimes where it's like um, closet review or whatever, where I try on a bunch of my outfits. Something like that. Guns the Duel used to be the one I played and come home from school when I was a kid. Oh, dude, Guns was so good. It's so unfortunate that that game died, but man, the tech involved with that game, I got pretty good at it at one point. I think I was like in the top 250 at one point. Like I, I was really hard coring it with all the double tapping and running on walls and junk. But eventually it just fell to the wayside. And you couldn't keep up with the Korean players like, oh my God. They were too powerful. <laughs> They're on a whole other level. Uh, I don't have to max the gear crafting terminus. No, 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 no. Gear crafting terminus is pointless. Don't worry about it. That thing is just such a waste. Oh. Uh, hey, MVD. Any tips for Japan? I'm going there this year. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know if I would say like any, I don't know if there's any tips per se, like, I guess obviously you need some sort of a translator app or something like that. But otherwise for the most part, like what I would recommend is getting, uh, like they have like a internet, like Wi-Fi thing that you can carry on you. You can get it at the airport so that you'll always have access to the internet. 
that's kind of the main thing I would say. Otherwise, for the most part, Japan is like so streamlined and just so good. And all I would say is just eat a lot of food. Go to Akihabara if you want to get into the nerd culture stuff. There's a little too much nerd stuff. Don't actually buy anything in Akihabara. Because uh, you can find the same stuff in like a normal shop like just downtown Tokyo. Akihabara knows that the nerds and westerners and stuff go there. And so they upcharge everything. The thing that I appreciate the most is there's this one store. Uh, I think it's called Labo. And it's kind of like a Best Buy in Japan. But we would I, I would always go to those whenever I could just because they're so cool. You go to the like the usually at the top floor uh, and it'll be like just full a whole floor of like video games and like action figures and stuff because out there like nerd culture is hand in hand with uh, with just normal popularity like you'll, you'll see like when Zelda was coming out it's like posters for it in the subway cars and stuff and it's just you don't see that stuff in the west that was the biggest difference for me that I thought was so cool. I, I remember first time going to Japan and then there was like a, a big uh, a big billboard about the new JoJo season coming out. And I was just like, dude, this is like, this is so unheard of for me. <laughs> I'll be there for like three days in Akihabara. Yeah, I would just say be careful because they're going to upcharge you. Like, you can find a lot of the same figurines and stuff in other areas for cheaper. And then the food, no matter what, like, even expensive food out there, it's so cheap. It's so dirt cheap. I, I'd recommend going to um, Kaiten Sushi, which is sushi that is on a conveyor belt. It's my favorite thing. I mean, I, I just love the restaurants out there because the food quality is so good. I mean in comparison to me in Canada. Um, but the Kaiten Sushi is like so cool because you basically just order your, like every restaurant's like this, but you order on your iPad and you don't even have to like interact with a person. Also, you don't have to tip. In fact, they'll look at you weird if you do. But I just love the fact that you just bop, 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 make your order and then suddenly the sushi comes beside you on a conveyor belt. And then all they do is look at all of the plates that you have afterwards to just like uh, find out how much they need to charge you. And it's like, dude, I can have like I can have so much freaking sushi out there and I, like I can eat my fill and it's only like 20 bucks versus out here. I'd have to spend 80 bucks. Anyways, you're getting me excited for Japan again. <laughs> yeah, the clothing, uh, clothing's really good. The only thing that kind of sucks about, uh, like, searching for clothes out there is everyone is very small. So a lot of the outfits that I was like, oh man, that's so cool, but it's a tight fit, you know? So couldn't get it. But anyway. Um, sorry, what was the other comments here, guys? Um, yeah, that's a good tip to download a map so that you know where you're going and stuff like that. Akihabara is pretty tourist friendly, though, so most people should speak English. Cat cafes are kind of fun as well, but I, I don't know. They're, cat cafes are funny to people that have owned cats like me because when, whenever we go in there, like, I'm always just laughing because you'll see cats, like, <laughs> peeing in the corner or, like, puking and stuff. Like, stupid cat. <laughs> Everyone's always like, oh, they're so cute. It's just like... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'd say, like, you can actually just walk just out of Akihabara. And you'll you'll already find stuff. Um, I'm trying to remember. I wish Mariko was here so I could ask her. There's one place that is like my favorite where I I save all my money so that I can buy. Um, crap! What is the place? Basically, they have like these super embroidered like 
beautiful hoodies. And uh, like that's where I got one that's uh, Vegeta. And then I got another one that was like $500 that was also Vegeta. But it was so good because it's all like hand stitched. But I don't remember what the place is called. I'm sorry. I just know that it was by Akihabara. Dang it. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up without remembering. Did you learn some Japanese before going? No, I have. I Fortunately, my wife is Japanese. So even then, I, I know like just enough to get by. Like just to make orders and stuff like that. I'm very rusty. You know what? Let me see if I can... I'm going to take a quick peek and see if the tag on my hoodie says where it was from. Like, one sec. I mean, it does, but it's in Japanese. Doi. But here's here's the one that cost uh, super expensive. Yeah, this was totally worth it, right? I'm trolling. It's uh, it goes inside out. Hold up. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that freaking cool, man? They've got other ones too that aren't like just anime stuff. Like uh, last time I went there, I got one where it's a frog turning into an oni. Really dope. But very dangerous because, you know, being a Dragon Ball nerd fan <clears throat> and they've got a lot of Dragon Ball stuff out there. Yeah. But yeah, the clothes is the most dangerous thing for me. Just because, like, you can't get cool stuff like that. Not out here, anyway. Tried to learn to at least read hiragana and katakana before going, but who knows if I'll be able to. That's a pretty, uh... <laughs> that's a pretty big uh, task, actually. Unless you were already studying it. The, if you end up getting like the, um, like you can get apps if your phone doesn't already have it built in. Like there's those ones where you can just like aim your phone's camera at like the text and it'll show it in English or whatever language. It's not always 100% accurate, but... I remember I was learning hiragana at one point. Cat kind of good lord, no. It's that's too complicated for me. But um I don't know. For some reason it just kind of fell to the wayside for me. It the one thing that I'll say in my limited experience of like actually trying to self-teach another language is it just it's like a exercise for your brain <laughs> like it's so weird learning another language because it makes your head hurt and not like the usual like oh i have a headache or something it's like no my brain hurts like muscles are being like exercised oh my god this dungeon come on got an app for learning it okay cool yeah, there, there's good apps nowadays, honestly speaking. What's the other one that everyone always uses? Duolingo. I probably should learn Japanese one day. I'm sure my wife would appreciate it, but at the same time, I'm too lazy and too stupid. <laughs> Help. Um, do I need to max the new career gear crafting to get C4 and C5 drops out of the new gear crafter vaults? Yes, Josh. We actually answered that earlier. You do. Not using Duolingo, getting an R, using an R1 called Renshu. That might be good. Let me actually look that up. 
I don't I don't personally like Duolingo that much. Like I think that it's a really good app in how would I put it? Training for casuals. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um Ren shoot. Oh yeah, only 7k reviews. Lots of downloads though. I mean I install that. I'll try that out. I don't know. For some reason, Duolingo just never really worked with me because they try to make it all like a video game, you know, and you're like getting points and all that stuff. But it's like, it's just because it's presented in that way, I just don't care. Like, oh, gold star. Oh, okay. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I can play more stimulating video games. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Josh, no, don't worry, dude. It's not as bad as you think, man. The uh, the gear crafting, dude, what the? The gear crafting only takes like maybe four or five hours of solid grinding for it. I'd recommend going into U6 right now until they end up uh, patching it. U6 is the most efficient to get the gear crafter done because you're gonna get a lot of gear. And there's a bug right now where you get um, two of the gear crafter vault boxes from dungeons. You're not supposed to. It's supposed to only give you a guaranteed box from U9 and up, but for whatever reason, U6 does it. It was a bug on the test server. It's still there now, but. but yeah, you can get through it pretty quick. I'm trying to remember, there was an app I was using to learn uh, Hiragana before, and it was a really, really good one that, uh, like, had you even write it down, and, you know, it was a little more hands-on, but I, I don't remember what it was called. I don't know if you guys get this, but I find it, like, so annoying how the Google Play Store, it, like, they changed it, like, a couple years ago, and I can no longer find apps that I've previously installed. Like it just shows most recent or something. And it's just, it's so stupid. Cause it's like, I can't even find games that I've purchased years ago. Cause there's no list that I can just search and be like, let me go to my profile and see what games I've had in the past. Like, nope, stupid Google. <clears throat> How do you get more light? I'm at 6.5K, any higher tips? I'm on console. Uh, well, you're on console, so it's gonna take a little bit, but otherwise for more light, it's gonna be tied to your cosmic gems primarily. And then uh, obviously augmenting the light value on those gems, whether or not the gems are stellar, crystal, whatever. And then um, also just the, the uh, crystal gear that you're rocking and how high a tier it is and the crystal ring obviously also i'm noticing i guess because i'm not getting all of the chests like we got a significant less significantly less of the vault boxes than last time or maybe it felt faster because there was more people last time i don't know U6 is still better than U11, even if you're 47k. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Because you can clear it way faster. Um, the reason why we're in U10 is because these dungeons are the most efficient for getting the boxes themselves. But if you're trying to actually go through the profession, you need to get as much gear as possible so that you can loot collect it for the block element. That's why U6 is better, because in combination with getting more gear, uh, you're also getting the gear crafter vaults just because it's broken. <clears throat> on Xbox, we missed the last two updates. I know, I feel for you, man. I don't know why they've been copping out on you. Like, you guys didn't even get the bamboo dragon, did you? Let alone the events. Like, I, I don't know why Xbox is the easiest version of the game to port versus uh, versus PlayStation, but okay, whatever. Uh, oh, and Geode Mastery as well. Yeah, thanks, Cashin. Sorry, I always forget to mention that one for um, light value. Cosmic Dragon as well, but 
Good luck. Uh, which video, Kev? Let me see. Like in general? Or gaming? Um, okay, I'm going to I'm going to hide on the side here while I scroll through here one sec. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I saw your comment about that Pixel 3D game. Oh, interesting. Okay, Zuck found, uh, it's probably an old mod, but there's a mod for Trove that changes all of the text to Minecraft text, <laughs> which I kind of low key want to get just because it seems, it seems kind of funny, but he's saying how it glitches out on some of the text gets cut off with uh, coefficient C and stats on the character. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, oh, here's the video. World's strongest shadow hunter versus you, Dan Leviathan. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, I don't know why it won't let me mute the music. There we go. Wait, what do you got for... Okay. 47.5K, nice. Oh, beautiful. The stars aligned and you didn't get lag where all your hits didn't register. <laughs> I like how you can kill it in like 25 seconds. That's nuts, man. It's hilarious. Yeah, I got I to gotta do some of those some of those upgraded videos killing Leviathans just for funsies. Once I get my full set of C5. Which will open these boxes soon, guys. Just a heads up. Why can't I damage the enemies? Eventually it gets to a point where the enemies have too much light value or uh, darkness value and you, you don't have enough light basically to damage them. Hey, Bobby. <clears throat> C5 is out? Yes. Check the YouTube, bro. No, no, it's not on Xbox. It's not on console yet at all. It just came out on PC like a week ago or something. And, uh, Xbox has actually been incredibly behind the other versions of the game, and I don't know why. I'm coming, dude. I can help. Bork. That's the new sound when you pick up items. Bork. If I could have a sound mod. I think the other reason that I'm not getting all the loot is because... Uh, because we don't have one of the dungeon things generating in the middle. So it's a little bit split apart. They're having issues with Microsoft apparently. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, Microsoft is kind of dumb, so no surprise. How do I get gate boxes? Um, gate boxes? Just open the door. I don't know what a gate box is. <laughs> you mean the gear crafter boxes? In which case you just get them out of dungeons. Will bamboo dragon ever return in being farmable? I don't know, dude. Is they is, is the bamboo dragon still? Yeah, he's not even available in the shop. I assume it's gonna be another stupid like timed thing where it'll show up next year. You know, probably for. Yeah, they're probably going to keep it around for the Lunar New Year event. The Chinese New Year, basically. Which makes sense, but that's really lame that they have like so much weird FOMO stuff with Trove. Yeah, I thought we'd be at 500 boxes. I guess not. Maybe I must have had some boxes last time that I didn't realize. We did it. Wow. Oh, where's everyone going? I'm just following everybody. Okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Bamboo Dragon will still come back at some point for sure. <clears throat> 
Guess I'll wait till next year. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's stupid. Uh, how do you have so much PR? Um, just because I have max gems, mostly maxed gear. I mean, I'm working on Crystal Five right now, but. Ugh. No, eventually they'll have the dragon for free and like a promo or something, right? Making it valueless. Because they like doing that sometimes too. All right, who's going where? Oh, okay. I just want to follow you guys so that we can be efficient. I think it's just, yeah, me, Urigan, and probably Kev. Are the only people doing dealing damage? I mean, maybe someone else is too. I just I don't know. <laughs> Banding, bro. <clears throat> Come on, die quicker, please. I'm at thirty six. Thank you. I don't know why my frames exploded there for a second. Like, what? <clears throat> okay, almost done, guys. Good, because I need to, I need to take a break from this. <laughs> Ugh. For some reason, the Easter event didn't come out on console. No, it didn't come out for anyone, Bobby. Don't worry. Or should I say Mr. Nelson? Might, people might get confused with my other homie. Uh, Did I get all my... Mm, I'll do the keepsake. All right, I guess we're going this way. I'll just follow you guys. But yeah, no, we didn't get the Easter event this week. Before I forget, I'll send you the cape design I did for the Shadowhunter costume. Okay, cool. Thanks, Chronicle. Oh, like you have a different um, cape like on your costume right now? That makes sense. What were you doing before doing YouTube full time? I don't know. It's been years. I was still just doing YouTube. I just wasn't getting paid. <laughs> it took a long time to actually get like full time with YouTube. It was most of all when Trove came out on console and Steam. That's kind of when, like, I already had thousands of Trove videos by then. So I kind of got a lucky break with that one. But I don't remember my last, like, actual job. Oh, Deceit 2, isn't that... If that's the game I recall, Bobby, isn't that uh, another Among Us type game? Man, Among Us came and went, didn't it? Jeez. Yeah, the thing, man. Like, these games come out and they end up exploding in popularity and then they usually fade into obscurity if the devs don't capitalize on it. I mean, Among Us, I guess, is still more relevant than most, but... I'm most of all just thinking about like Lethal Company kind of died. I don't understand these developers. I, I mean, I get it. It's a big project, but I don't understand these developers that literally get like they become millionaires overnight and then they don't hire a team and, you know, start working on the game full time. Like, it's very strange to me. Like the the idiot who made Cube World, he did the same thing where and he, he's even worse because he just keeps making excuses but anyway <clears throat> uh not sure if i'll make a library of it i don't know how to do that oh like a library for the capes i think you can set that uh, it's been a few years but i know you can do that on trophosaurus like, I used to have something like that for all the mods that I used to use. 
where there was like a big list. Because then I could just give people that link, which I do not have that updated at all. You know, YouTube paid so well. Oh, it doesn't pay well. <laughs> The main thing is, like... <sighs> Got a friend who was a Pokemon YouTuber. He had 150k subs, 50k views per video. Didn't get more than 10k dollars in four years of constant views. We are from Brazil. Well, that might be a big factor, uh, but the real bottom line is I get, like, while my first-hand videos that I upload, there's not as many people that watch them right away. Uh, I'm one of those channels where my older videos are still generating views and even like, you know, the Crystal 5 video, it gets a big up spike right now, but then it's going to get more of an up, up, up spike later because more people will come back. Like the biggest thing is with Trove, uh, you know, I kind of always make this joke and complain about how Trove is basically what I'm doing full time and then every other game is just kind of for me. Uh, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that I've got so many tutorials and I just know the game so well. So anytime people are searching stuff up, there you go. Because otherwise, if I was just doing Let's Plays, uh-uh. It just, it, there's no way in hell that I would be able to do this full time. Even then, the views fluctuate a lot throughout the year and thus my paycheck fluctuates a lot. Which can be very disheartening and discouraging, especially when... Sometimes I wish that I could get views for other things that I was doing beyond just Trove stuff, but I don't know. I always come to being in a good place with it. But as far as like the views, I think uh, I'd have to double check. I think I averaged like maybe 300k views per month or something like that in total. Um, which obviously spikes up during big updates for Trove and whatever else. I don't know. I, I can't say honestly too much on the matter with uh, how YouTube is because the real bottom line is the views don't matter as much as watch time. So maybe he had 50k views per video, but maybe people would only watch like two seconds and then move away. So for me, I've got a lot less views than other channels that have my amount of subs, but my minutes watched are way higher than average channels. So maybe that's why, but honestly, I don't know anything about the YouTube algorithm. I don't even like, all I do is just keep grinding. <laughs> like <laughs> The other thing too is playing Pokemon is kind of risky because sometimes it falls under kids, uh, YouTube kids category, right? I don't know. All I can just say to any inspiring content creators out there is just keep at it and don't do it for the paycheck. I'm, I'm very, very fortunate that I can do this full time because it means that I can dedicate myself entirely to it. But I would be doing this even if I had like a normal job on the side, just because I love doing it and I love interacting with you guys and, you know, doing live streams and as well as just doing one off funny videos and stuff like that. Like I just, I love my job. I always wanted some sort of career involved with video games. I used to think it was creating video games, but uh, that's too hard. <laughs> So I'm I'm fine with being that salty, that salty like content creator that not many people know, but you know the people that do are like, hey, I like this guy. <laughs> oh Lord, do I even want to open these boxes? <sighs> ah! The loud the loudness, bro. I was gonna say lag. You gonna do part two of that spooky game with Bobby? Most likely. Uh, it's one of those games like that we're just gonna kind of casually play. I didn't really like plan on anything. It's just I, I'm always in the habit of record everything and then see how it goes. Like I, I still have my Helldivers footage that I'm just sleeping on because I don't think that it's an interesting enough video. Eventually I'll probably delete it if I don't edit it into something. Okay. So I am going to be recording this as a clip, but we are live streaming. Let's see if we can get lucky. We took about an hour to get this much. Not bad. Pretty decent amount, honestly. 
Oh my god, a C4 hat! No, I need a C5 hat. I, I need a C5 hat before the week's end so that I can, you know, second stat reroll it. Unless I get super lucky and get, uh, get it with the proper stat second stat, but... Also, yes, to, <laughs> to chat saying hi, YouTube, I need to figure out a way to, like, record you guys in the video because otherwise it, it doesn't show you guys in the video. <laughs> I don't have one of those uh, overlays, unfortunately. But okay, let's see. Isn't it faster or easier to get the vaults from U10 ships instead of towers? Yes, <clears throat> but I don't like ships. If, if you got a good group of people, then the ships are more efficient because they're more tightly knit. Uh, but I just, I, I hate those dungeons. I just really hate them. A C5 bow. And I just realized, no, I'm on the wrong class. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. And it's three star two. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's so disheartening. Ah. Oh. So for you guys that are like, why are you sad? You got a C5. So I already have a C5 bow that I've been upgrading. So it's more efficient for me to swap to a different class so that in the unlikelihood that I get a C5 weapon, it would end up being something I didn't have, like a staff. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, that pain. That's pain. I mean, I guess at least... No, no. I was going to say, at, I guess at least that's a C5 bow. I can swap to another class. No, it's not, because I'm not going to upgrade an RC5 bow. It's so expensive to upgrade Crystal 5. No way. Maybe, like, long in the distant future, I could eventually start working on that, but just no. Can I stop with the block element? Also, did this idiot reset yet? Oh, he did. <gasps> Wait. Wait, does this reset every day and the other one is every week? No. Why did this one reset? I already bought that once before. Okay, whatever. Sure. I will. Yes. No. 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 No! Garbage. <gasps> C5 hat, please. Huh. Ah, C4. That's a C5 face. No, thank God it's not. Dang it, dude. No luck. Oh, well. Come on. Come on. Give me that C5 hat, baby. That's all I need. I just need the hat before the week's end, bro. No, not block element. I mean, I guess I need those too. But I, I can easily get those if I just start forging like a crazy person. Whatever. Thank you, game. Oh, well. Get rid of this C4 garbage. How much does a C5 give? It gives... Ew. Tiny mold. Doesn't even give crystalline cores. That's odd. That's so disappointing. It's actually got the three stars too. That's like, that's like ultra mega rare getting like the weapon and having it have three stars. I'm going to put it in storage just for now until I need the space. <laughs> oh, so disappointing. All right. Well, anyway, let's see if we can get some more of these stupid tempered blocks. Yeah. And then maybe I can finally upgrade my stupid C5. Which would be pretty cool. Yeah. Or maybe I'm going to have to craft a face or a hat, which would be pretty disgusting. Okay, let's see how we doing. 
Uh, bum, 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 bum. No, 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 that's the thing. I already have this at uh, four star now, so there's no point swapping to the other one. Oh my lord, look, we're so close. 87. Come on. Eight. Was that just eight? Also, let me get these out of the way. Alright, this is it. Finally. Whew. So expensive, it's actually insane. <laughs> there we go, we did it! Maxed out C5, bro. Now, obviously it doesn't have the right stats, because we've got a second stat reroll event going on right now. So what I want to do is I want to try my best to uh, wait until next week and then i can re-roll the third and fourth stat to being what i actually need also let's just open these really quick unfortunately we didn't get anything still cool though got it maxed out so that's dope okay let's put that in storage that's just the weapon by the way not even the face <laughs> and other stuff anyway sorry that i wasn't uh paying attention to the chat there guys um <laughs> oh, I can buy views from stream boo. Oh, yeah, cuz inflated views gets me paid. Yeah, totally <laughs> Um, Yeah, I'm surprised that it let me buy those keys Wouldn't it be better to get crit damage on second stat? No, no, not for not for me being shadow hunter Anyways, I I just always get movement speed because otherwise, like, yeah, the crit damage I'll get as the fourth stat. Or something, I don't know. Either way, I'm just kind of copying the gear that I have right now. Should I save 20 mil by Gondor or do the risk and my 5 mil buying boxes? I don't know, man. You could take the risk if you really want to. But frankly speaking, I don't think it's going to work out for you. I, I would always recommend don't take the risk. Instead, just uh, go for the sure thing. Where? There it is. Okay, we are close to karma. How close to karma are we on those boxes? Well, let's just go do a couple quick dungeons in U6. Trigger the karma. And a matter ship AFK farm. Yeah, sure, sure. Let's do that. I'll just, I'll just chill at it with you too, Kev. Because I, I don't know if, how active I want to be at the moment. <laughs> I might even... Uh, we'll probably wrap up the stream and then I'll just leave myself AFK here while I work and get some editing done and stuff. Generally speaking, I don't like going AFK too much. I, I prefer like just grinding it out myself. Oh my god. Well, there's one of the allies. Disgusting. All right, let's see. How close are we to Karma? Almost. So this is where people are going? Which side of the dungeon is this? Oh, okay, I see. Seems to be giving us the boxes for most of them. Not all of them, though. Are we even close enough? Doesn't seem like we are. Anyway. Alright, let's see. Do we get super lucky? 
Ah, C4 hat. Gross. Oh, well. Anyways, thank you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Obviously, I still got a lot of other videos cooking just because of the uh, previous stream VODs and stuff like that. But as you know, members get to see it all early. Otherwise, I will stream some other stuff today. I just don't know when I'll get the chance. It might be during goblin hours. Either way, I appreciate you guys having uh, coming out and hope you had fun.